I'm afraid our heroes, Phoenix and Pearl, are in a bad situation. Yes, that's right. I think Pearl is a hero, even though she's eight years old. Well, you can have an eight-year-old superhero. Haven't you played the uh, Pajama Sam video games? Anyway, their situation is they don't know anything about electronics. Which makes sense, because, you know, the hero is not the person who knows about electronics. Even when you have a superhero like Batman, who uses electronics all the time, he doesn't know anything about it. It's his butler, Alfred, who, uh, you know, handles all the nitty-gritty electronics situations. Anyway, former Detective Gumshoe is the person we need to speak to. So we are going to go all the way back to the Wright & Co. Law Offices. So we'll talk to the former detective and have some fun. I like having fun. One of the problems with doing a straightforward walkthrough like I've been doing is that oftentimes I get to miss out on some of the fun parts of the game. You might have noticed in the last video, Wendy Oldbag, she made a reference to um, getting a stick of gum from um, Edgeworth. This is a reference to some of the testimony in the trial, but because I was doing a straightforward video walkthrough, I didn't press the testimony because it, it's not necessary to beating the game. But it's really funny, it leads to this funny conversation about, you know, Wendy Oldbag gets upset, and then Edgeworth says, Oh, okay, okay, please calm down, witness, I'll give you a stick of gum. And she goes, Yay, stick of gum! And then Edgeworth says, Right, you're gonna have to foot the bill for that stick of gum. It's unnecessary, and kind of stupid, but it's funny anyway. And that's what I want to do in this video. Give me one video just to goof around and do silly things, like present all these various profiles to Detective Gumshoe. People like to complain about the Phoenix Wright games. Well, they actually like to complain about adventure games in general when it comes to the topic of using items on various characters. For example, say I want to present the profile of Will Powers to Detective Gumshoe. We get this conversation. The conversation is basically, sorry pal, I don't know anything. You know, it's, it's a standard, sorry, you just used the wrong item conversation. And say you have to present a specific item to Detective Gumshoe, it can be kind of frustrating if you don't know that item because basically you're stuck going through every single possible conversation and you see that one conversation, the sorry you picked the wrong item conversation, over and over and over again. It's boring, but I just want to show off the fact that there are a lot of conversations that are not just, sorry, you picked the wrong item. You can talk to Detective Gumshoe about over half of the items in this case. It's unnecessary, it doesn't help forward the plot, but it's still something fun you can do. And a lot of them end up with funny conversations just like this. It's one of the nice things about Phoenix Wright games. You can try to move forward with the plot, or you can just have fun presenting all sorts of crazy evidence to the various characters you meet, and hoping to get some funny, funny reactions, or just, you know, interesting storylines. Or you can learn something today. You never know until you try. Now, there's a funny conversation about um, Francisca von Karma. It's not this one here. Maybe it's in a different game, or maybe it's a different time when you talk to Detective Gumshoe. But you can talk to him about her, and he will tell you the story of the time that she showed up at the detective's office, but she left her whip at home. And so what happened, instead of whipping Detective Gumshoe all day long, she just slapped him all day long. So she slapped him like 300 times in one day. It's a funny conversation! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe just complaining about the day he got slapped 300 times in a row. Of 
course, not all the conversations are funny. Some of them are like this one, which is just plot development. No plot development, character development. Okay, I think that's most of the characters. Only a couple of characters left to talk about. Okay, so that's what happens when you try to talk to Detective Gumshoe about all the various characters in the game. Now I'll go through all the conversations we can have about all the various items in the game. Aww, that's nice of Detective Gumshoe. Well, unfortunately, he doesn't know much about the various items in the game. So we get the, um, I don't know anything about that conversation. Um, a lot of times in a row. But hey, that's what the fast forward button is for. Yes, that's right. If you have seen a conversation before, you can just hold down on the B button, and it will fast forward through the conversation. Yeah, I don't hear any static either. Okay, it looks like I stumbled upon the conversation that you're actually supposed to have. Okay, so presenting that piece of evidence to Detective Gumshoe opens up the conversation about electromagnetic interference. Now let's try every other piece of information. Oops, nothing there. Okay, 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 fine, okay, fine, okay, okay. I'm getting the sense... Oh, wait, here we go, something else. I was getting the sense that, you know, there's nothing else we can possibly present to start a conversation. You can't say anything about the autopsy reports. You can talk about the knife. Thanks for the information, Detective. Escargo, yes. Aha! Mystery solved! Okay, that's enough playing around. Thank you for indulging me, everybody. Now let's actually talk to Detective Gumshoe, and... Hey, what do you know? We've already talked to him about a lot of things. So, let's finish the conversation with Gumshoe in the next video, because this video was nothing but me playing around and talking to Gumshoe about random things. <laughs>